a review EV. The video demonstrates the step-by-step -step implantation of a review EV IOL. A review EV is packed in a double blister to ensure the sterility of the lens. Peel the seal of the outer blister from the marked end. Press at the corner with index finger, as shown to easily take out the inner blister. Open the seal of the inner blister. Take the injector out from the blister with index and thumb as shown. Components of the preloaded injector. Front plunger, sleeve, lens holder. Insert the cannula carefully into the small hole, which is provided on the lens holder. Ensure that the cannula goes beneath the optic. If the cannula is not inserted properly, the injected OVD will not go underneath the optic, and will spread in the front side of the optic, which may disturb the leading haptic position. Insert the cannula vertically into the small hole, until it touches the bottom of the cartridge. Tilt the cannula such that, the tip of the cannula goes beneath the optic. Ensure the OVD spreads underneath the optic and not in front of it. Infuse the OVD on top of the optic through the bigger hole provided on the lens holder, and also infuse some near the trailing haptic as shown. Gently press the corner of the cartridge with the right index finger, to remove the lens holder. Close the cartridge using index and thumb of both hands as shown. Press the flaps until it clicks into position. Make sure the haptics are not caught between the flaps by looking at the cartridge from side. Press the yellow colored cap towards the cartridge with index finger as shown. This action pushes the leading haptic towards the optic and ensures proper release of the IOL. Remove the device carefully with thumb and index finger as shown. Now the lens is ready for injecting. Make sure that the soft tip of the injector stops at the tip of the cartridge. Do not prolong IOL delivery after loading. Inject immediately after loading, as lab experiments prove that the force required to push the lens through the cartridge increases with time and can compromise delivery. Do not reopen the cartridge while closing, it may dislocate the haptic 
and thereby lead to haptic breakage during delivery. Do not start injecting, without checking for haptic trap, between the flaps of the cartridge. This can be viewed through the sides of the cartridge. Do not use cold viscoelastics, which make the IOL harder to implant. Issues associated with cold viscoelastics are Jerk while pushing the IOL IOL shooting out from the cartridge Cartridge tip break during the delivery Slow unfolding of the IOL within the bag Thank you